This guy has a lot of money. Talk. Crazy how much money he gets and gives away instead of using it for himself. That's real. It's really selfless, and I really like that. Today, we are going to be showing you what may be one of the largest rising YouTube channels right now. Largest rising YouTube channels. I can't think of any off the top of my head. The first person I think of, like, when it comes to, like, pop and YouTubers right now is Mr. Beast. So we're going to be talking about Mr. Beast today. Never heard of that person. <laughs> that sounds familiar, but... We'll see. Oh, okay, I've heard of him with the whole like PewDiePie thing. Oh my god, I love him. I watch all his videos. He is like the best YouTuber. I love Mr. Beast. Every video he makes goes stupid viral. We thought the best way to showcase Mr. Beast due to his huge view counts that he's been getting was to show you his top five most viewed videos of all time. Let's jump into it with number five. Okay, that seems pretty cool. All right, Jake Paulers, raise your right hand. I've seen this, you have to hold your hand on the Lambo as long as you can. Rules are simple. Last one of your right hand, his left hand, to leave the car, keeps it. This car? Yeah, this isn't my type of content. <laughs> this is a good idea to do in real life, I'd, especially with the Lambo. Last rule that we didn't mention, you have to be standing. If you're sitting, you're out. I could never. I feel like I've seen this on like TV shows and I'm like, I've always wanted to do it, but there's no way I could. <laughs> I'm definitely winning this. Yep. Look at that. Chan, we're I chan. feel like this is just a way to show off their car, right? These are like my favorite kinds of videos yeah. where like he just gives away giant sleeping. amounts of stuff to all its friends. They're two and a half hours in. Jeez, it's a long time. I would not let go of that. This is so random. <laughs> like why? It can do tricks. Oh. It can do tricks. Oh, gee, that is evil. It can do tricks. Does that count? <laughs> There's no way. I'd be so pissed. I feel bad for Chandler. Oh my goodness. Oh, gee, <laughs> just doesn't even realize it. <laughs> no one else is touching the car but Chris, which means Chris is the winner. Chris, uh, Chris won. I do like Chris. I you won not. a Lamborghini. Chris and Chandler are my definitely my favorite out of the group. So instead of getting the Lamborghini, I wanted to take the 20 grand and split it between the other guys in the video. Who what a lost, good you know, guy. Not fair how they lost. I would not do that. I would We're keep the Lamborghini. Here. We're a family here. We, we look after each other. Aw, what a nice guy. I love big budget ridiculous videos like that where they're just like let's put some crazy amount of money into this video and do something stupid he's generous from a lot of the money that he gets he like just gives it back to all his friends and other people when people get sponsorships like most of the time they'll take the money like keep it and then like shout out the brand but what he does is he'll get all the money from the sponsorship and just use all of it in the video crazy how much money he gets and gives away instead of using it for himself that's real it's really selfless and i really like that so that was number five and has over 33 million views as of the release of this episode what <laughs> what i never heard of this he has crazy ideas like i've never seen anyone else do that so like the circle challenge like he started that and that was a huge challenge for a little bit. This is the circle. Before your torture begins, let's go over the rules. Oh, this is one of my favorite videos. Before oh. your torture yeah, begins, Yeah, the leave the circle challenge. The this white line is the outside of the circle. You can step one foot out, but if both feet leave, you're out. You do not oh, win do the they just have to stay in the circle as long as they can? But if both feet leave, you're out. You do not win the 10 grand. See this purple Oh my line? God, 10 grand? You can reach this guy has a lot of money. Where are they getting the money? <laughs> We all officially made it through the first night. I went to bed. It feels like it wouldn't be that bad. Then like, you actually have to do it and it's that bad. It's 116, Garrett's trying to sleep. Chris is- This was a good video. I remember watching this. So word on the street is you're trying to quit, Chris. So Tyler said that he thinks that I'm his biggest competitor. So he said he would give me a thousand dollars if I walked away now. Oh boy. Chris, are you sure you want to do this? Once both feet cross, you can't win 10 grand. Mm. All right, no 10 grand for Chris. He's up. Oh, uh, no. why? No why step joke. over it? Tyler, who owns that? It's not that hard now to stay Chris's inside. Target. Just but do yeah. it. I'm like super tired right now. I'm just chilling in Chris's tent. Now look at me. Now look down here. This is how you exit the circle. One Ew. Foot out, one foot I out. don't like feet. Ew. And this next. No, I'm a loser. You cannot. I don't know how hard. It's not that. It should be that hard to do it. I, I could not like leave that circle if I knew that I was gonna get ten thousand dollars. Alright, guys. It's about uh like eleven forty at night. Um, I'm getting really tired of being here. 
I'm done. Wait, are you sure? If you step over that line, you can't win 10 grand. Oh. oh. All right, Tyler. Hey. There's your 10 grand. <laughs> Like the easiest 10 grand ever. I'm disappointed that like someone has just $10,000 to give away just for like staying inside of a circle. Like, ah, you couldn't put that money to better use. So that was number four and has over 37 million views as of the release of this episode. Jesus. These are more like challenges, which are, are like more fun than just like going to like say whatever Apollo video and they're just like, here's our crazy amount of cars. Like, this is like an actual like incentive, a challenge, a game. As you can see on my screen, Ninja is currently doing oh, a charity Oh, so that's what he looks stream. like. Ninja is currently doing a charity live stream. And so oh, far, is this the... Okay, I've never actually seen this clip. This is the one where he donates like fifty thousand dollars to Ninja. We're gonna start off light with a ten thousand dollar donation. Wow, he must have good sponsors. <laughs> Donating ten thousand dollars in general. I am going to do. It's crazy. People don't even make that much money. I am going to do everything in my power to make you lose this game. I feel like getting a lot of Yeah, it was like you donate this much, you have to drop all your materials, drop your guns. Did see it? Yeah, I think he's reading Ladies it. and gentlemen, <laughs> legend, I'm going to do everything in my power to make you lose this game. Jesus. Let's go! <laughs> Challenge accepted. Ninja's such a good sport. If we donate a thousand dollars, he can't heal. He can't heal, so... What a cool concept, kind of, to like, I'm if winning. you donate a certain amount, you, you get to impact the game. game. I'm winning this game. You are not winning this game! This is actually kind of no. cool. Mr. Beast donates 1,000, says no healing. Okay, so we are already moving on to the- No healing. No mess. Oh, uh, that's okay. I suck it up. Oh my, my god, man. no way. You are not winning this game, Ninja. I don't care if I go broke. No, he has another gun. Be ready. Do another gun. Oh, you said drop gun. You didn't say which gun. Oh. <laughs> right. yeah. No gun. Go through, go through, go through. He's about to pick up mess. Do no mess. I was never, I'm not really a fan of Ninja, but like this is still interesting to watch. Yeah! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's so excited. I kind of love that. It's just like, dude, I'm just gonna throw money at people, and that just seems to be the theme of his channel. I feel this pain there at the end, but I mean, he was doing a good thing, so it's all right. That was funny. In the end, he's giving the money to a good cause and they were having fun with it, which was really funny to watch. So that was number three and has over 40 million views as of the release of this episode. He's just racking up views constantly. He's mentioned like he doesn't really buy a lot of extravagant things for himself. He really puts all his money back into YouTube and makes his content better. I saw a video where he recently gave like a homeless person he he bought them a house. It's videos like these that I like because they're entertaining, but they put a smile on my face. This is 100 million Orbeez. Are you sure? It looks kind of like love Orbeez. Okay. This will be good. This is 100 I, I definitely Orbeez. remember this. Are you sure? oh my it God. Looks like it's <laughs> Mr. Beast is like just like a 10 year old with a bunch of money in a YouTube channel. Ow. And now we're going to take these 100 million Orbeez. Oh my goodness. We're going to put them on the tarps back here in the backyard. How do you even order, order that many Orbeez at once? Once. It's about 10 hours later, and the whole backyard is covered in Orbeez. I would watch right there, this. What is that? Orbeez? What is that? Orbeez? What is and just, that? And just, with all the Orbeez, it just looks kind of murky and weird. I, I, I doesn't, it doesn't look good. I don't even know whose backyard that was, but who, like, who let someone do that to them? You see this pool, the outside? Yeah. Uh -huh. First one to do two laps gets a thousand dollars. I've always wanted to do that. Those things are getting in between your fingers and your toes. Those are definitely all in this jacket for sure. <laughs> that must feel so satisfying. It's a lot. It just like works like a ball pit. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's so dumb, but I love it so much. They're having so much fun. It makes you happy. One of my favorite things about Mr. Beast is just like how genuine I feel like he is because he, it's just him all of his best friends, and they just make content, crush the YouTube game right now. He's not in any, any controversies, he's not negative in any way, he's just, I mean, he's perfect. <laughs> so that was number two and has over 50 million views. 50 million, I mean, Orbeez are pretty popular. I would click on that video. That's something you'd be like, that has to be clickbait, like, <laughs> like what? And then it, he actually did it, impressive. So next is the most viewed video on Mr. Beast's channel. Is it the PewDiePie one? Let's see it. I think it's um, Ken, 20,000 magnets stop a bullet midair, or something like that. So we have a wall covered in 20,000. I was right, what do you know? 20. 
thousand toy magnets, and we're Whoa. gonna see if they can stop mm. a bullet mid. -air. Can magnets like These pull a bullet? Magnets. All right. We're gonna see if they can stop a bullet mid air. These are the real bomb magnets. in me is like this isn't a good uh, idea. <laughs> like There's I don't. <laughs> but the other part of me is like of this is really creative. I want to show you how powerful these magnets really are. Oh wow, that's a magnet. It looks like there's like a ghost holding the chain or something. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> that was a funny noise. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> the bullet landed right there, so it obviously can't stop an AK bullet, but we're gonna try a BB gun because it shoots a little bit slower. That's Whoa. cool. It's pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. That was nice. Wait, was Stuck. It, it stopped it. So 20,000 magnets and three of the strongest magnets you can buy on all the internet can stop a BB gun. <laughs> okay, okay. If I had to give it like one word, I'd say it's like unique. Like if I had to go out and try and find this somewhere else on YouTube, I don't think I could. So that was number one and it has over 58 million views as of the release of this episode. Why do you think this is number one? I really don't know. Magnets, you know, who cares? Out of all the concepts he's done, like, uh, for a general audience, that sounds like the most interesting. It's a concept that's really like kind of out of the box. And that's what kind of like sets you apart as a creator is coming up with out of the box ideas. I'm actually really impressed and very interested to see more from him. So Mr. Beast is arguably one of the biggest YouTubers out there right now. And his rise happened really, really fast. So I first knew about Mr. Beast through just like the stream donations that he did for Ninja. I think it was the Logan Paul video where he said Logan Paul like a hundred thousand times or whatever. That's what made me subscribe, because I saw the number one, and then I saw that one, I was like, dude, this guy's crazy. And then the Uber one came out, that was his biggest for a long time, and then tipping the pizza drivers, and I mean, he just, he just tops himself every new video. Just from January 2018 to January 2019, he went from roughly 2 million subscribers to nearly 16 million subscribers. Wait, what? Holy sh**. <laughs> like, that's a, that's huge. It's gotta be so crazy what a year can do for you. Why do you think his content over time has grown so fast? The random. Random is great. Everyone likes to see people giving money away to like a good cause. It's kind of doing the impossible in a way. It's kind of like these thoughts like, oh, what if I sat here and did something pointless for a really long time. I'm not ever gonna do that. Like someone actually took the time to sit down and do that. I'm gonna click on it and be like, why? When he does something like really crazy, which is pretty much every video at this point, people would wanna click on it. And people who don't, people who don't watch him, it catches your eye. As you saw today, Mr. Beast gets big views on big stunts, but he also has earned the reputation as being YouTube's biggest philanthropist. For example, he has given away tens of thousands of dollars to his subscribers, gave a homeless man $10,000 and so much more. So what do you think when creators do this kind of thing on YouTube? I don't know. It does come from a genuine standpoint too, just based on seeing who he's been benefiting. He hasn't just been giving away money for himself and for his friends. He's been actually helping out other people. I don't find anything wrong with even doing it for views because at the end, you're still helping someone. It can be genuine. Like there's some heart there for you to go out there and sacrifice, sacrifice what you have to help someone else. But I do think like if you're broadcasting it and filming it, you there is an attention grasp there that you want to fulfill. Anyone in their right mind who knows how to do YouTube and who's a big YouTuber who wants to be even bigger knows that if you give away stuff and you put $100,000 in the title and giving away this to homeless people or whatever, like it's obviously gonna get more views. So it's a good video idea to get more views, but the way he does it and actually gives the money to homeless people, it's not like he's being an ass. Like he's genuinely donating to shelters and he's doing really good deeds, but he is just filming it. I feel like he's filming himself donating. He's not really donating like for the video. Finally, a fact about Mr. Beast and his career that tends to surprise people is that he is only 20 years old. What? No, he's not. <laughs> oh my God. He's only like a, couple, like a year older than me. <laughs> he's not too much older than you are right now. So seeing as he's experienced so much success at a young age, where do you think he should go from here? Uh, w Literally wherever he wants. Just like the world is, the world is his canvas. I can't really tell him anything to do. He should be telling something like for me that I should do. Whatever he's doing is working for him now. He should obviously keep doing it, but still keep in mind the Chain, his changing audience and just keeping keeping up with that. I do think it will start getting repetitive eventually because honestly, those videos all felt very similar and I can't imagine this going on 
for much longer. So I do think you would have to, but he seems so creative. So I think he would be able to come up with more concepts that'll keep his audience um, engaged. He just really says, he just wants to keep going and be number one and just go until the end of time. So, I mean, for Mr. Beast, I think he should just keep doing what he's doing because it's obviously working. Thanks for watching this Beast episode of Teens React and shout out to Bianca Likes Cats. What YouTuber should we react to next? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, bye. Hey guys, Lauren Producer here at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this awesome episode of Teens React. Make sure you check out our FBE2 channel for daily vlogs, exclusive content, and so much more. Bye guys.